Okay, now we get a confrontation with Black Shadow. This is gonna be intense. Is he gonna stare at you and Good then you're God, gonna stare Captain. at him? He's gonna stare at you and you're gonna stare at him. And he's gonna go get Hyo! And he's gonna go ah! And he's gonna go Hyo! And they're gonna leap at each other. Captain Falcon's got heels. You'll have to speak up. I can't hear you past your pectorials. <laughs> Why is he glowing now? Hadoken. Wait. My name's Black Shadow. I'm an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> is that evil falcon yep is this all you're going to be playing tonight is the question on the floor <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll be done with this soon enough yeah I'll play something else <laughs> that means we're gonna to, play that means you have to keep watching time trial mode <laughs> i don't know all this talk of sid meyer got me in the mood for civ i think that would make a good game for people to watch <laughs> <laughs> a full game yeah. Only if we narrate it like it, we're <coughs> watching like the PGA Pro Tour. <laughs> Golf clap. Okay. So this this is a race, but it's not even a race. If this bomb goes under 700 miles an hour, your Wii will explode. Too late. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> so supposedly you're not even on a racetrack right now. You're just on normal future streets. Is he's crabbed at a VLP of Civ? Yeah, Civ oh, 1. I missed that. Why? He wanted to play Civ 1. He opened up the thread so other people could play other Civ 1 games also, which was kind of like innovative for him. <laughs> and then a whole bunch of people started saying, oh, can I play this other Civ game or this other thing that's like a Civ game, but someone else made it and it's interesting. And he's like, no, Civ 1 only. <laughs> and so, then, I don't know, I didn't get that. So in this, you can't go, you, you have to go faster? Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, see, I've got the speed meter on the left. Yeah. If I slow down, it's bad. See, if I hit the wall, it goes down. Tell see. me more about the Let's Play for him. I don't wanna. <laughs> Old man Maxwell. <laughs> he doesn't wanna. Right back in my day. Oos! Oh, no. We didn't have no fancy internets. We had to write down what we did on our video games and mail it. Cross country. <laughs> Not even that. We had to write it down on a log and send it down the river. <laughs> Then the next person down the river would get it and read the log and write their own inscription and send it down the river again. Video game logs, we called them. <laughs> Horse in that day, video games were... Called horses. <laughs> <laughs> we called it a let, let's horse log. <laughs> Carved so, more uh, on the side of the yeah. horse we did. So how Use is the hammer and chisel. How is Captain Falcon... Steering this way, he has his arms tied up. No, did you see me like flex with his energy pectorals? Broke off of him. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, definitely missed. So him. the moral of the story is, if you're really, really muscly and some evil racer wizard shoots <laughs> magic at you, you can flex your superhero pectoral muscles and break the magic spell as long as you believe in yourself and the power of racing. <laughs> and you have a loving family. And a chimpanzee. Well, yeah, material component. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons joke. Hi -o! Nerd! Aren't we gonna play that with someone? You're not allowed to play D&D &D anymore. Why, Why not? not? You get bored after 15 minutes and then you like... Just try and skull fuck something and leave the room. I designed <laughs> my character to do that to begin with. <laughs> now he's the one who pulled out a, a 14 foot all pike in like a 6 foot corridor. That was oversight on my part. <laughs> but it was hilarious! was cool. And I, play, and, I, and apparently I played a I played a buff wizard or something. I was kicking more ass than anyone else in the party, I guess. Nerd. Let me tell you about my D&D &D character. <laughs> Nerd. He's from my favorite animes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, even I'm not that I'm, I'm not that pathetic. He has a red trench coat and he has a gun, but he only shoots the gun to hurt things cuz he doesn't believe in killing. His name is Sephiroth Goku. <laughs> <laughs> Sephiroth Goku the Stampede. <laughs> and, 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 he used to be an angel, and then he was a devil, and then when he was an angel, and then he was a devil, he, he gave it up because he learned how to love. Are you kind of choking? <laughs> ah! 
You what is this? You distracted me. Ahem. Kenneth the Bear says, quote, Buff Wizard, yeah, you might as well come out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Since you distracted me, I hit the wall and died. Hey, that buffered that buff wizard conquered Fire Island. <laughs> Wait, are you still doing this? Yeah, I, I died at the end. So now I started <laughs> It's like Shakespeare. The tragedy of epic proportions. Uh, you, uh, you know what comes next? What? Story mode, chapter seven. The big one. Uh, How many chapters are there? Nine. Fucking right. duck. Beep, beep, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> I can remember that thing when I played Quake Wars on Monday. Okay. Beep beep I'm a Jeep. Yeah. Beep beep I'm a Jeep. Beep beep I'm a Jeep. Beep beep I'm a Jeep. Beep, beep, oh no! Beep, oh no! Beep, beep, I'm a Jeep. I gotta change my settings. Why? What's wrong? With that? Bad. Change them to win. I gotta set it right about there. Beep beep I'm a Jeep. Beep beep I'm a Jeep. You can see the bomb on his ship. See what spins? Yeah. For no reason. So let me tell you more about my Dungeons and Dragons animes. <laughs> See, he used to be an art, a devil and an angel, but he gave it up to be a human because he he fell in love with with a girl who a was really simple, girl? but she loved him with all of her heart. A vampire and, girl. No, no, she wasn't a vampire because he got bitten she by was a vampire, vampire. She had a and then he was like, <laughs> he, 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 he drank her blood and she died. But he's so he's really sad about it. He perches on rooftops and when it's raining out, <laughs> and looks down at the ground like a gargoyle. But but he's not a gargoyle because he's a vampire well, wizard. Wait, wait, demon. was the girl like super goody two shoes? Yeah, overachiever schoolgirl. And she looked like an eight year old, but she was like really smart and in high school. And then, and then, and then, because after he got hit bit by the vampire and it caused him to kill kill his girlfriend, he he got a big robot that he found <laughs> under a rock. And the big robot said, oh, "I have a big robot, and I believe in the power of you." And the big robot said, "We'll be friends." And he climbed into the big robot and he said, "Let's go get the vampire." And the vampire was was an evil wizard, and, but he was he was the head of this company. It was and, a buff. We had like seven. <laughs> we had like seven. Is it a buff wizard? Answer the question. <laughs> it was like a buff wizard vampire. <laughs> and so, and so, he's the head of this company, and he has a board of directors, and they're also all va also vampires. <laughs> and like when he shows up with his robot, they all have robots that they're made out of different companies, except that their robots are made out of the clone dead moms of the vampires from the past because they have a time machine inside their robots. So he goes back in time. <laughs> <laughs> he goes back in time to when he's an angel devil and he meets himself and they team up because they're best friends because they're each other and he's like you have a chance to, <laughs> you have a chance to prove the past and correct the rights of the wrongs and he sees his girlfriend and he gets all bent out of shape because he's like oh no I still love you but you were destined to die so I gotta I gotta fight the evil vampire corporation and they go Gah! and he goes ah! And the robots fight, and there's like some explosions because they're in the city, but the city goes underground because it needs to not get exploded. And so, and so, the city's underground, and while they're going, and they're fighting, and there's blowing up, and so while they're fighting, he's like, no, you don't understand, I am back in time, and then they go, how can this be? And their robots blow up because, <laughs> because his robot's better. How and big is the explosion? It's really big, but it's shaped like a sphere, and there's no shockwave. But that's okay. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, so he's like, I have defeated you. And then the head CEO vampire demon wizard, buff wizard, shows up and he's like, no. And he surprises them and stabs the big robot through him. And it stabs through the cockpit into his heart. But he doesn't have a heart because he's a vampire wizard angel demon from the past future. And then thousands and then, of years ago. It thinks it's going to be bad because the, the vampire wizard. That says, was pure luck I'm going on his to, part. I'm going yeah. to defeat you right here, right now. And then he goes, aha, I have a trick up my sleeve. And the robot changes into a slightly different <laughs> robot. And then there's some trumpets. And he stands up and he poses. And while he's transforming, the other, the evil CEO vampire wizard's like, how could this be? And then... Um, he goes, ha! And there's a big laser that shoots out of his chest because he believes in himself. And the laser hits the vampire. It's like the sun, but like 800 times worse. And it blasts him back into time. And then it hits him. And he goes back in time through the forward time. And it hits his, his girlfriend. It pushes her forward. And then he goes into the forward, into the future. And his girlfriend's there. And he's like, I'm not a vampire because I erased him from the timeline. Now we can be together. And they go on a picnic. <laughs> 
And good. the television said, that's a pretty good show. What do you call that act? <laughs> the Aristocrats. 